the dictionary, mindfulness is known as a practice, a non-judgmental state of heightened awareness of one's thoughts, emotions, and experiences on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Mindfulness helps us push through our anxieties, focus our thoughts, and keeps us feeling grounded in the chaos of our everyday lives. Today, we're going to meet with Dr. George Nagel and Lisa Sandin here at Heart and Soul Yoga to learn some helpful tips on how to use mindfulness. Come on. First of all, I think it's important to understand what mindfulness is because I think there's a lot of misconception. It's an awareness of being present right now, and right now continually happens. The problem is, is that most of the time we're not mindful. To be mindful is, is to be intentional. Being present, being present to my experience as it shows up in my thoughts, my feelings, my body, however it shows up for me, and being present to that. The challenge in that is that when I come to the mat, my space is very defined, what I'm doing is very defined, my intention is to be present, I'm leading the class or someone's leading me or I'm in my own practice. That's a very different experience than being mindful off the mat, out in the world. So one of the mindfulness techniques that we use is to pause two minutes between tasks. That feeling of the world's crashing down, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do, right? All of that, that overwhelming sense. So the first thing that I do is say, take a deep breath in, extend your exhale. Usually I set up the ratio of inhale to the count of four, exhale to the count of six. Do that until you find I'm here, till things kind of calm down. Might be eight breaths, might be 10 breaths, might be 10 minutes. And then the awareness of what's the issue? What are my options? Oftentimes we just react, okay? And, 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 and much of the time that, that's fine, okay? But that's not the same as responding because reacting does not require mindfulness. Responding to response and awareness. What's my intention attitude? What's going on here? Boom, big difference. The reason that I become reactive is I think I don't have any choices. I'm gonna breathe, I'm gonna recognize the issue, and I'm gonna choose how I respond. The trick is that when you're in crisis to really notice how helpful those tools are so that when the crisis has diminished that you continue to use those tools. So much of what we do is on automatic pilot. So much of what we do is out of patterns of reactivity, out of habit, with a limited range of choices that they provide. How do I start my day? How do I finish my day? Anytime I catch myself being mindless, a moment of mindfulness. The moment you stop and ask that question, you know, you have just entered into a mindful moment. We feel really strongly about what we do, but I feel like this can really serve people. Your techniques to become more mindful will be sure to help.